Good evening. This is CTV News for Wednesday, December 30th. I'm Denise Douglas. So glad you could join us. The issue of police wearing body cameras has been at the forefront in many jurisdictions. While some believe it will bring about more transparency, others are concerned about privacy. Despite the debate today, D.C. Mayor signed legislation okaying cameras for the entire city force, and she also talked about the importance of those cameras. As police cadets look on, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser signs the legislation okaying body cams that they will wear. The community has been asking for more. Uh, so since this spring, I've been pushing for the full expansion of the program. Up until now, just 400 officers have been using the tool as part of a pilot program. She says the camps will help keep police accountable and increase the public's trust in the department. So we will be able to record all interactions that the police have with the public. We will deploy the body cameras uh, to officers on a fast-paced schedule as well. But our Officers have overwhelmingly welcomed these cameras. Uh, the police union has come out publicly and said they're in favor of the cameras. And uh, I think uh, the reason, after some discussions with the officers and the members in the field, that they want these cameras is because, by and large, the interactions that the Metropolitan Police Department is having with the community, uh, those interactions are positive. They will also allow for more transparency since the public will have access to the video. However, survivors of domestic violence, stalking, and similar crimes would be protected from having footage released. The district is setting a new best practice by allowing any subject of a body camera recording the ability to go to their local police station and review their body uh, camera footage and that will be at no cost. We are also setting a new best practice by making the vast majority of interactions between officers and the public available through FOIA. D.C. is just the latest jurisdiction to okay the cams. In Laurel, officers have been using them since 2013. Prince George's plans to launch a pilot program this spring while in Montgomery County, 80 officers are testing out the cameras. The body-worn camera program gives us another tool. Back in D.C., Mayor Bowser says she expects the first shipment of cams in February and the final in June. These recruits will hit the streets in May. By next summer, the mayor expects all 2,800 officers to be outfitted with body cramps. An immigrant rights group is calling on the president to stop the deportation of undocumented immigrants. The organization CASA, along with other nonprofits from around the country, marched to the White House this morning. Participants say they're responding to news that the Obama administration is planning raids on undocumented families. We spoke with activists who say deportation will tear families apart. Uh, this is very unfair. It's very important that the Democratic Party stays united and keep pushing for a comprehensive immigration reform, but put a halt to the deportations as well. Not coming up with outrageous plans of deporting families and deporting victims and deporting uh, people that are looking just for, for asylum here in the U.S. We saw the news and we didn't believe it, that they're going to start doing... Um, uh, detainees um, on different parts of the um, U.S. So we want this to stop. They are going to separate families and that's why we are here to uh, say that we're here and we're not going anywhere. The mass deportation plan was made public in a Washington Post article the day before Christmas. The Prince George's fire crews helped battle a blaze in Anne Arundel County. County Fire EMS spokesperson Mark Brady released this video on social media showing flames burning through an industrial storage structure in Davidsonville. Three teams of firefighters were dispatched to the 1600 block of Rossback Road to assist. No word yet on exactly what caused that fire.